Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take that dull and drab jersey and we're going to turn it into a collage with themed pictures inside of it. Now I have a picture of football right here and I want to thank Ed Jordan over at Flickr. I'm using the Creative Commons license for his photo images there and I've embedded them into the number nine. Now one of the reasons why I don't have a jersey right now is that I could not find a real nice one on Flickr that I could use for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and look over here on the right hand side in our layers palette you can see that I have all these images right here. I have a bunch of layer masks and then I've superimposed those or created a clipping group over the number so that you can see all these and they're kind of nice and blended in there. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go over to our file new menu and notice that the control keyboard shortcut is command N or control N so if you want to do that let's create a blank file. Now I created one that was 9 inches by 9 inches 300 in the resolution and the background contents are white. Let's go ahead and select OK. The next thing we need to do is go find some pictures, football, volleyball, baseball, even tennis, and open all those pictures up. And what's going to happen is it's going to place them in your project bin right there. So you have all these pictures in the project bin. Now the next thing that we need to do is go over to our text tool just for this tutorial. You can try the uh, Jersey one later, but for right now, let's go ahead and take the text tool. Let's go ahead and take and make our text color black by selecting the down arrow here in the option bar and selecting black right there if it is not already black. Then we're going to not want a nice fat font which I picked Swiss 921 hopefully you have something like that and then I created a very large size mine is 536 points so I'm going to click inside my picture right here and I'm going to type the number 89 now it's probably not in the right location so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my move tool which is in the top left of my toolbar and I'm going to drag this into the center of my picture. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to drag some pictures in there that I want to use inside the numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these cheerleaders right there because their heads are moving to the left and I want to put those up over here on the number nine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this picture right on top of that. Now the only problem here is, is that you cannot see the number. You can't see where it's going to be placed. So what I'm going to do is I am going to drag this picture underneath the number and then I'm going to click on the number and I am going to make the opacity at 50. Now you might say, well why don't you just make the opacity of the picture to 50. If you do that you have to change the opacity of all your pictures. If you do it this way you only have to change the opacity of your number. So there is a method to my madness. So let's go ahead and take our picture and let's drag it around. Uh, not that one. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're on the right layer. Grab our picture and let's drag it to the place that we want it. Now you want to make sure that the picture fills up all of the number. It's going to look better that way. So if you want to do something like this, place it at the top, kind of put it right there, and then I'm going to drag it and make it just a little bit bigger and then move it over to the right just a little bit more. Now of course we're going to lose some arm and leg a little bit over there but that's okay people get the gist of what I'm doing. And then when I'm happy I either hit the enter key or hit the green checkbox right there and then that one is in place. Now the next picture I want to use is I want to use a picture with a little bit of action of the football players there. So I want to go ahead and grab this one so I'm going to click and highlight that and drag it on top of the picture. Now of course what it's going to do is it's going to place it under the number hopefully. If it isn't go ahead and drag it underneath the number. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this right over here and I'm going to put that guy right about there. Now what I need to do is I need to fill this black area so I'm going to resize this picture a little bit right there and I'm going to put that right about there. And then when I'm happy with it filling up everything that I need. I'm going to hit either enter or the green checkbox and then there we have it. So, so far it's doing pretty good. I don't have to do a whole lot of um, blending on any of this. 
Now the next picture I want to use is this one over here. This is this guy just looking up. I'm going to put him in the corner, so I'm going to go ahead and drag him onto my picture right there. And then I'm going to move him around right about there. Now as you can see, what's starting to happen though is, is that he's starting to block some of the other picture. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to blend or take away some of that area. And the easiest way to do that is to go into our layers palette and click the layer mask. Now what we need to do is we need to paint this area with black so that it turns it transparent. Now let's put black in our foreground color. If it's not there already just click D on your keyboard and that will set the default colors and it'll make this one black right there. The next thing after that is we need to select a brush and we're gonna select a nice soft brush so go ahead and click on your brush and then go over here and pick one of these nice soft brushes. Once you have that put the brush over on top of your picture to see if it's large enough and this is large enough for me so what I'm gonna start to do is start to paint in this area right there so that the cheerleaders show back up again so I just wanna paint right over there the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint his arm away because I want this guy to show up so I'm gonna paint away this corner kinda of the best I can kinda of blending along the way and as you can see, the only thing that you're going to see is where the numbers are when we're finished. So don't worry about anything else. We have that. And so it's doing pretty good right there. We've got that blended in. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a kicker in there. So let me go ahead and click in my project bin. I'm going to drag this kicker up right in here. And then choose the move tool again because we were on the paintbrush. And I'm going to move this around until I get over here about right there. Now once again, this is overlapping all of our pictures, so we are going to have to add a layer mask once again in our layers palette. Go ahead and click on that layer mask. Hopefully you still have the black in there as a foreground color. Pick your brush, and let's go ahead and let's take away some of this area right here on the kicking team so that we can start seeing some of the other picture. And there we have it right there. Let's go ahead and take some of that off so you can see that guy's jersey a little bit better. There we go. So you can still see the kicker right there, and you can also see these guys right there. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Right. Yep. I'm going to do Control Z. I'm going to take some more of this off right there because it looks like it's com he's coming out of that guy's leg. So there we go. And just kind of make that guy disappear right there. And then I have one more spot up here in the corner, and for that one, I'm going to pick one that I have that's a quarterback, which is right over here. I'm going to click on that one, drag that one up into my picture, and then once again, change it to the Move tool right there, and move this up right there into that corner. Now once again, he is overlapping now, so I have to add a layer mask to this one right there. Go back to our Brush tool and then we're going to paint away some of this area so it kind of blends right here so this guy's head returns and we're just going to kind of blend this away so that you can see the cheerleaders on that side and there we go so now we've kind of had it all blended so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our number layer right there and I'm going to dial that back up to the 100 percent opacity and as you can see it is now blocking all the pictures so we're gonna to have to move this and we're gonna drag this below all of our pictures so let's go ahead and do that and drag it below all of our pictures now as you can see here are all my pictures above the numbers I'm gonna hold the alt or option key down and right there in between each one of these layers if I hold it and find the line there's a little figure eight drawing with an arrow on it I'm gonna click that and then I'm going to go to the next one and click that one and then of course I'm going to keep going up and between each one of these layers I'm going to click each one of these lines by holding the option or alt key down and there we have it it is now superimposed all these pictures on top of the number right there now as you can see this guy he's bleeding over into my other number right there so if I 
click on this layer mask right there and pick my brush with black, I can actually paint this away over there and get rid of it. And there we have it, our number. So what we're going to do is on your own time, you're going to finish this tutorial off and you're going to drag some more pictures into the number of eight and you're going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to have some written instructions for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you're going to be able to make some great collages with some great numbers here. Well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, a thumbs up, and pass my link on to your friends. If you haven't checked out the Facebook community page, you can go ahead and upload your pictures on there and show everyone your great work. Cheers!